At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. The $53,000 Cruise and Cash Giveaways at the Lakeside Casino Fridays from 6 to 9 p.m. win $200 every half hour. Saturday from 6 to 8.30 p.m. get another chance to win $200 every half hour. One lucky cruise owner will be chosen at 9 p.m. Play and dine. Points for food is back. Every 300 points equals $1 at the Lakeside Cafe and Buffet. Check out their great January food specials and listen up Lakeside. Join us at the Prompt Nugget Event Center for Football Super Sunday, February 3rd. Tickets on sale now till February 2nd. $25 per person. Stay, play, win. Lakeside Casino and RV Park. This portion of the news is brought to you by Dr. George Leakes, a rumps optometrist since 1990, offering full-spectrum eye care for children and adults. Call today, 727-8300. Fatalities on Nye County roadways have reportedly decreased by nearly 50% in 2012 from 2011. Nye County recorded eight fatal crashes last year compared to the 15 the previous year. Though the county saw a big reduction, the number of fatalities and fatal crashes on roadways, there doesn't seem to be one factor by itself that is attributed to the rate. Nye County had an increase in the number of pedestrians and bicyclists that were killed in traffic accidents last year. There were two pedestrians and one bicyclist struck and killed on the roadways in Nye County in 2012, and none reported in 2011. The only nonprofit hospice here in Pahrump, Nathan Adelson, has a new directive that is more complete and easier for your last wishes to be carried out. We've been providing services out here for over 10 years. Uh, we provide hospice services out here for individuals during end of life. Um, the hospice service that we provide are 100% covered by Medicare. We've been doing that for about 10 years here in the community. And all of our medical directors, all of our nurses, our social workers, our chaplains, individuals that will come out to your home, our certified nursing assistants, are all local individuals here in Pahrump. Most people know what hospice services are, but explain what they are. Hospice services are care for an individual who is at the end of life. Um, there's really four areas that we focus on. It's physical care, it's emotional care, it's spiritual care, and it's um, psychiatric care. Um, taking care of the needs of the individual as it goes spiritually, emotionally, but mainly with the physical side of things. We want to make sure that you're pain free, that you're comfortable uh, during your end of life. It's really about adding quality mm -hmm. to those remaining days. And this usually takes place in the home. This does. Majority of our patients are taken care of in the home. In fact, right now we're taking over care of over 400 patients. Um, we have 38 inpatient, bed um, inpatient beds in our facility. Mm -hmm. So most of our care is actually delivered in the home. Uh, majority of, uh, I would say probably 80% of our patients are cared for at home. We, wanna, we want our patients and our families to be where that individual calls home during those remaining days of their life so that we can make sure that we're delivering the best of quality for them at that time. One of the things that you guys have come up with is, uh, for lack of a better word, it's an advanced directive, isn't it? Um, and five simple steps to kind of uh, help people make decisions now. Yes. We call it the five wishes. The five wishes is a form of advanced directives or living wills. Um, we're talking about the five wishes a lot in 2013, and we're going to have Health Care Decision Day coming up on April 16th. We hope to be doing an event out here in Pahrump for that as well. What the five wishes address are your power of attorney for your medical decisions, what you want your medical decisions to be. They also address things that advanced directives and living wills don't address. Um, they address your comfort level in the place that you're receiving care with your health healthcare professionals. They address how you want to be treated by your healthcare professionals and other individuals that are coming in at that time. And it also addresses the legacy you want to leave behind. It talks about how you want to be remembered. Mm -hmm. It talks about your funeral arrangements. It talks about end of life care decisions that are great to have if you are incapacitated or, or unable to deliver those decisions. When a person receives one of these packets from Nathan Addison Hospice, where does it go from there after they fill out what they would like to do? What they do is they fill out the five wishes. It's an, in fact, it's a legal document. Mm -hmm. So if you have it, um, you do not have to have it notarized. If you have two individuals witness you mm -hmm. signing the document, non-family individuals, it becomes a legal and binding document for your power of attorney, medical decisions, and then the three, four, and five wishes after that. 
And Nathan Addison Hospice is the one that kind of makes sure that these things are followed through? Mm -hmm. What we do is we'll help you with filling out your advanced directives. What you want to do is when you have an advanced directive, a living will, or a five wish, any of those versions um, of your medical decisions, you want to make sure you have copies of those in different areas. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure you have copies around the house. The individual that you dedicate as your power of attorney should have a copy. Make sure you tell them mm -hmm. that they're the one that you're dedicating to make those medical decisions for you. We'll be back with more local news right after this. This portion of the news is brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Welcome back. During the last five and one and a half years since the introduction of the Nye County's free prescription discount program, county residents have filed 128,253 prescriptions with the cards at discounts averaging approximately $14 or 28.13% per prescription in all $1.8 million has been saved. Nye County launched the program to help consumers cope with the high prices of prescriptions. The program is free to the county and to residents. For more information, call 751-7070. Terry at West Star Ranch Animal Rescue has a special, special pet today. Whose owner might be looking for him? Save a Pet is generously brought to you by Auto World at 727-8000 and Greenspan Brokerage at 751-6200. Put the green team to work for you. Hi, welcome to West Star Ranch. Today we're here with Pepper, who was abandoned about three weeks ago, and we're looking for his original owners. If you're his original owner, please come down and claim him. Otherwise, he will be up for adoption on the 22nd of January, and he's a lovable little dog that's looking for a great home. So come down to 780 Mance Road, just west of Prompt Valley Boulevard, or call us at 727-9273. If you would like to sponsor Save a Pet, give us a call at 727-9400. To adopt, donate, or contact West Star Ranch, call 727-9273. All right, folks, well, we're going to have your weather after this break. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump, local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Welcome back. It's Friday and a pretty good one too. We had sunny skies, high of 59 degrees, winds coming out of the east, northeast at 4, gusts at 6. Our pressure is rising so we can expect good temperature in the future. UV index at 3, humidity 21%, sunrise staying at 6.53 a.m. and the record high for today was 72 degrees back in 1971. Looking at tonight, we're going to have clear skies. Our temperature is going to drop down to 27 degrees. Winds are going to stay about the same, north, northeast at 4, gusts at 6. Our humidity is going to come up to 34%. Sunset's going to change 4.56 p.m. And the record low for tonight is the same as yesterday, 20 degrees, 1949. Looking at tomorrow's sunny skies, temperature's going to come up to 61 degrees, low of 28. Winds coming at the east at 4, gusts at 6. Humidity 21% and the sunrise and UV index are both going to stay the same again. Looking at our seven-day forecast, weekend's going to be pretty good compared to some of the last week. What, 40 degrees a day? 16 at night, so we're not going to see that. 62 degrees a day, 31 at night on Sunday. And then we're going to have a holiday there on Monday, Martin Luther King Day. A lot of places around town are going to be shut down, but I know the Nuggets having some events. But 63 degrees during the day, so it'll be a pretty good temperature. But next week we're going to see a change. Look at that, some clouds coming in Wednesday through Friday. But the temperature is going to stay pretty stable around the 60s. 
So have a good weekend, everyone. Have a good weekend, everyone. Be safe out there on the roads. All right. Well, there's going to be a college scholarship donation spaghetti dinner located over at the Moose, or they're going to be having it at the Moose Lodge on Sunday, January 20th from 3 to 6 p.m. They're located over at 1100 East 2nd Street. Inspiration Senior Living will be holding a hard hat event tomorrow from 1130 until 130 p.m. at their construction site, location off of Prump Valley Boulevard and Java Street. For more information, call 751-2300. Tomorrow morning, some local gun owners are planning to recognize National Gun Appreciation Day at the corner of Highway 160 and Highway 372. The event will be held from 1.30 until 3.30 p.m. The Master Gardeners will be holding a free pruning workshop tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Please bring your gloves and shears. The workshop will be held at the corner of Dandelion and Calbata at the University of Nevada Cooperative Extension. An Alzheimer's seminar will be held tomorrow at 3 p.m. at the Perum Community Church on Wilson Street. This informative event is free and open to the public. The Miss Senior Golden Years Victorian Tea will be held Sunday, January 27th at 1 p.m. For more information or to attend, call 537-7422. And that does it for uh, this edition of News 46. From all of us up here on the hill at KPVM, we wish you a great evening, and we'll see you here tomorrow. Good night. Good night.